Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 46 degree, very windy, windy Saturday, the 9th of March. At the moment, it's not rain, but Kelly is telling me you got just a few minutes before the rain comes. It's supposed to start here in a few minutes. But I've had that TC8 marksman from Red Cat since Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? Something like that. I don't remember what day it was. Anyway, I've had that thing. And uh, other than rolling around, like literally about four or five feet back and forth on the in the kitchen just to make sure the steering was straight. That's the only driving I've done to, with it. That's it. So uh, when we take the thing for its inaugural run, it's a, uh, I don't know how it's going to fit on stuff in the, in my little area there but we'll see anyway let's go tinker with that for a half second one thing about it it's not lacking any size i mean it's it's nothing like a a tenth scale or not i'm sorry a sixth scale those things are ginormous these are 2.2 tires like one of those six scale things they they probably stand about this tall they're mass oh just about to drop my oh almost dropped my radio again but uh um, yeah they're big but this is big compared to a tent scale and i uh have the overdrive or under driven uh gears ring and pinion in the back so the effect is an overdriven front end and i put that the what was that thing called sd something another that uh 35 kilogram uh servo that was supposed to be for the gen 9 and um i adjusted the uh, uh hobby wing 1080e to 7.4 volts so um it's basically basically running at 35 kilograms first run other than the kitchen floor it barely fits on this rack though Point the camera at it. She's a. You can actually see where they've added extensions and all the the bolts. You know how you got uh, screws that hold the bearing in the end. They're going all the way through and into into that extension. So she ain't going nowhere. They so widened her up. I don't know if that was an existing um, axle set or what. Oh. And uh, even though it doesn't <laughs> make a huge, I tried to adjust my, my uh, using a zip tie, but still my hand doesn't fit it quite right. So it's worse, it worse in left hand turns. But what they did is the mod that you do where you trim that, that piece down, take the pan head bolt out countersink the screw and then put a you know a, a screw that countersinks in there they've already done it so the steering mod's already been performed on it but it's such a long truck i think it'll probably take 15 uh to get this thing lined up with this with this rack it's probably gonna be really tricky and this is the the hob the home's it, 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 other than the servo and the rear drive, it's completely stopped. Let's see if I can get this thing to line up. You know, I should probably test to see if it even fits here. Probably doesn't even fit. Yeah, the back wheels aren't going to make it though, are they? Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna jockey this thing around. I don't want to drop it. Oh yeah, barely fits. So the, yep. <clears throat> That's pretty good trail braking for, so it doesn't completely stop, but you can always hit the brakes a little bit. But that's for a big heavy truck. That's some pretty good trail braking. Very controllable. I mean, it doesn't lock down like a Hobby Wing Fusion Pro, but 
it'll get it done. What a big old gal. I wonder if we even fit across these things over here. We'll try it out. So I had to back up and come back over it again. I just went over it, looked down and realized I wasn't recording, so. So I know it goes over it. No surprise there. We'll see what she does on the uh, brick bridge over here. Yeah, buddy. She is some um, kind of noisy. It's funny, several people said, well, it's much quieter than the Gen 8 and Gen 9. Uh, no. But I remember being pretty shocked at how loud those were. And I, I, they don't bother me at all now. And there, anybody's had red cats know that they quiet down with some, with some running. Oh, with that long wheelbase. She's probably going to bottom out on this. Oh, yeah. Now, can she make it up the up the ramp here and get myself in a position here? Whoa, it's pointed at the ramp. If I look at the camera, I drive the car off the track. If I look at the, at the truck, the camera's not pointing in the right direction. Yeah, it had no problem with that. That's pretty cool. One problem with it being so big on this little tiny course is that um, I could spend 20 minutes just going back and forth to get it to line up. I wonder how wet the grass is out there. It'd be cool to go out there and play on the old. Yeah, this thing's never gonna make it. It's gonna push the front wheels even though I've got it overdriven. No, it's gonna catch it. I apologize in advance if the camera's not pointing in the right place because I'm watching the truck. Don't want my new ride to hit the deck right away. So I ordered, I don't have the correct, wow, for being, that's nine and a half percent overdriven up front. And um, yeah, that, that's kind of still dragging the front end around. How long you think it'll take me to manipulate manipulate through this thing? Yeah, even though they've done the the mod to make the steering better, she's still a she's a slow turner. But she's she's just a trail trail slash crawler. It almost seems ridiculous running this thing out here in this little course. Well, you put that thing under a load and it really sings a song, doesn't it? The problem with that that 25 kilo, kilogram uh, servo that was on there is I don't think, I think it's a 6 volt servo only. So I couldn't, you're risking it, bumping it to 7.4 volts. And the Hobbywing 1080, I've also... You guys see me using the 1080 G2 or Gen 2. Um, you can bump it up to 8 volts. This one only goes to 7.4. And uh, that was the first generation 1080p. Fantastic ESC though. And with you know a good motor, you got very decent trail braking. I don't know how many turns it'll take to get me lined up with that ramp. Probably a lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot. If you're in a competition thing, every reverse is a is a problem. Okay, I'm just gonna let go of the throttle all the way. Oh, look at that! It actually stopped. I'm not holding it. Bet you it won't once I get both wheels on. No, it's doing a really good job. That's no throttle. That's really good for as heavy as this thing is. 
That's some pretty good trail breaking right there. Wish I had a good place to to go crawl with this thing and have some fun. Let's go see how wet the grass is. Maybe we can play around the Kelly's little craft house out there. I absolutely love the way this thing looks. I've heard several people say they didn't like it. And said it was bland or something. I'm like, dude, I don't get that at all. It just looks very pleasing. It's not a licensed body, so it's not a, an exact Jeep of any kind. But um, yeah, I like it. I've seen enough stuff on it. These things do really well. Really well. People will take them places that I will most likely never take mine. If I was going to do that, the VRD gets pulled out. But it is cool. They spend a lot of time flipping down the side of a mountain, but... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not willing to do that to mine. It already came with a battle scar right out of the crate. It must have, like I said, it must have laid sideways in the deal. You can see the, the red coming through. The first taste of rust. Thank goodness by the time I got over here, the rain started. You can see all the sprinkles on my, on my controller. So we're kind of in a cover away. Yeah, that left turn is it's horrible. It's because of the three league panhart bar type setup that the steering and the steering is you know frame the servo is frame mount um, servo. If it was axle mounted, it would work a lot better. But that's the way it's built. Kelly's been out here. She's got weird. Oh, she was taking a BRP pallet apart. I think she's doing it out here for a bit. Things got surprisingly good modulation for a brush motor. This is my first Holmes hobby. Oh, I knocked the. Yep. Yeah, I popped the cover out of the rock guard over there. I can see it from here. <laughs> As you can see the inner fender wells when you do that. It's like mom and I are gonna have to buy another set of pressurized wood out here because I don't know, I think this was I think this was put here in like ninety something. And um we've been here for seventeen years and it, everything was fine until Kelly had those ceramic tile things packed out here. They just, I don't know. Whoa, we snagged something down there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Well, that's going to take two hands. Hold on a second. The reason I noticed it, because it has inner fenders, and the inner fenders fit into the into the bodywork. See how it's popped out? When it's when it's in there correctly, they fit flush underneath the, the body's fenders. And I have a bad habit of picking these things up by the roll cage. Well the the body pins are probably too close for a truck this small this big. And um it it allows it the the plastic to bow and when it does it it lifts it out so you don't see the inner inner fenders They're up underneath there but it fits absolutely flush against the the body's fender well, well I'm, I'm gonna sit here and play a bit without recording because I haven't even had a chance to play with this thing myself so I'm gonna goof around here a little bit and I'll be back in just a moment well I realized I had the what dual rate for the steering turn way down doesn't improve it a whole bunch but definitely makes it better everybody says hello to the world there red cat
crazy how quick that grass dries out in this wind. I don't know if this thing will come up this thing. That's yeah, not a problem at all. Well, it looks like it's just going to continue to rain. So I think I'm a, that'll be the end of my first little run out here. I may go play out there in the barn a little bit more. Still haven't decided. Kelly says she's thinking about what to do with the head on him. Oh, and the, it's just a seam in its head. It doesn't come apart into... It was just a molding scene, but the hat does come off and it comes off the body. It's just one screw holding it on. But um, anyway, you guys think that's pretty cool. I, I love the no problem, inverted problem. Houston, we have an issue. Anyway, fantastic. RC truck, trail crawler. Basher, not really a basher, but a trail crawler. Be fun in those outings with some people and just go goofing around. Nothing serious, you know. It's a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, on that, I guess I'll conclude with this part of the vlog. Probably used up enough time goofing around with this thing that uh, the next thing will be <laughs> be a goodbye. So uh, hope you guys enjoy the Red Cat. Just for the little bit I played with it I'm uh, I'm impressed it's really weird to get used to how big and long it is I can imagine what it's like on a, a 1 6 scale but uh, I'll get used to it everybody that that owns them that I've seen just praise it it's really fun to drive and just have a good time with it and I know I'll get many hours of joy out of it so uh, anyway I'm not gonna slip out and we'll do a goodbye well hello there you two man what a crazy weather day i know it pouring down rain pouring down sleet i mean it sounded like the roof's coming i'm like what in the world and then just uh, with the wind out here just as fast as it gets everything all wet and the, the ground's all white with sleet <laughs> it's dry again it's the craziest thing ever we can see the next bout coming Yep. So Kelly's going. If you want to do a goodbye in the in the daylight, better get out there now. Yeah, cause cause a, it's coming. Yeah, there's a wall of craziness coming now. I don't think it's going to be any on and off stuff. No. But usually, when we get a good windstorm like we've had today, it just means it's moving something, moving something out or moving something in. Yep. It's going to change. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Aren't aren't we just like? When is it like the thirteenth or something like that? Is First day of spring? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's like next week, so I guess we got spring weather. Yeah. <laughs> a few days before spring. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the clock's changing tonight, too. Yeah. Tomorrow yes. will be a day longer. Well, yeah. it'll seem hour that way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, an hour. I knew but, what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just a trick, but the nice thing is you get used to it really quick, and you get to start getting those nice long days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sunset after 7. Yeah, tomorrow night. Nice. Heck yeah, that's that's called after work ride time. Mm -hmm. If the weather cooperates. Yeah. But anyway, on that, I think we're gonna bounce. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. All right. We we'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. <laughs> bye bye now. Mm -hmm.